Let's take a closer look at an issue facing America's heroes. We all know about the sacrifices made by the nation's service members, but what many don't know is the hidden costs that frequent moves can have on a military spouse's job. Earlier this year, President Biden signed a bill to cut through the red tape when it comes to transferring occupational licenses. But many spouses tell us not much has changed, and we wanted to find out why. Can you pick four? Michelle Wintering is a speech pathologist, but hasn't been able to work full time because of the nearly impossible task of transferring her license state to state. Some require specific coursework before you can be licensed there. Just the, the phone calls and the emails and the paperwork that you have to submit for proof of licensure in previous states. Her husband is in the Army, making moves frequent, sometimes staying in one place for less than a year. I love being a speech-language pathologist. What's frustrating for me when I have gaps in employment and I want to be working. She's not alone. Amanda James's husband is in the Air Force. I have five states in the last 10 years on my resume. And have you been able to find a job in any of those states? I have, but I've been underemployed. So I, I have a teaching certificate and a bachelor's degree. I've never really been able to do what I went to school for. 39% of active duty spouses need a license for their job. That's more than 130,000 people who face unemployment or underemployment. The ripple effect, qualified service members leave the military early, a national security risk as branches struggle to recruit. What financial impact has this had on your family? At the beginning, it was a big one. We've never been fully comfortable. In January, the president signed the Military Licensing Relief Act, intended to force states to accept transfers, but there's no deadline or plan on how to do that. Help is on the way. We went to Capitol Hill to ask Congressman Mike Garcia and Salud Carbajal, who co-sponsored the bill, why things haven't gotten better. This is an area where a Republican and a Democrat have found common ground. And yet, Congressman, we're hearing from, from spouses in states it's still not working for them. What's the problem? Well, I think we're trying to make sure that uh, this bill puts in the framework that makes it work in a reciprocal way across the United States. It's still going to require states to work with our DOD uh, to make sure that the program works effectively. And yet, so many spouses say they're still dealing with so much red tape yeah. on the state level. Why is that? The states are struggling with how to implement it. And for everything like this, with such a seismic change in the way they do business, there are going to be changes in the process. So we need to help them with that. James says she's given up on trying to get a job as a teacher. It makes me feel like, am I not good enough? Did I not get enough credentials? Did I not get enough certifications? It's been difficult. Nora O'Donnell, CBS News. And Nora mentioned uh, those families that get out of the service early. In fact, Michelle's husband is leaving the Army this summer so that they both can get stable jobs.